What I want to know is since I've never, I've never negotiated a payoff before. This is going to be the most fun thing you've ever done. I know. I'm so excited. The highest pay you'll ever get is for flapping your jaws in this, in this sector. So go ahead, ask a question. So, so my question is, do you, do you guys, I mean, you've done it a million times, I'm sure. So you already know what to say, but since I haven't done it, is there a script I should have? Should I know uh, some certain things to say, some th certain things not to say? Um, how should I approach it? Should I do it over the phone? Should I do it in person? Do it over the phone. You, you want okay. to make it seem like it's, you know, no big deal, no skin off your back either way. And you call them up and, hey, uh, Mr. Jones, I just had a unique opportunity here and I thought there may be an opportunity for you in it as well. Um, you know, I have a, a chance to get a chunk of money and I could potentially pay you off early. I'm not going to be able to get enough to pay you off in full, but it would get you a chunk of cash right now. Are you interested in, in uh, receiving an offer from me on that? Okay. Are you interested in receiving an offer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what good. do you think I'm going to say? Yes. Right. Okay. And now you're, you're going to say, well, what's the least you could take? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how you make an offer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and then just go, so I'm, okay. So I'm familiar with how to negotiate. I mean, it's, so it's just once yeah. we kind of break the ice there, then we just go right back to the script. Hey, I know I owe you 184. What's the least you could do on it if I could pay you off right now? Right. Yeah. And, and, and you, you make sure you do it in a real apologetic manner. I'm sorry to even bother you about this. I, you're probably going to be insulted because I can't get enough money to do this in full today. But, you know, just for shits and giggles, let's talk numbers here. What do you, what's the least you could take? So we don't want to tell her, like, hey, the houses were actually in way worse condition than we had originally <laughs> anticipated we ended up having to spend a lot more spend, like, you, you know. save that for the you save that for your final push that's your missing okay. man component when you okay. get in the hole you know you get you owe 180 and there's like well you know i'll take 170 now and and you know your response whatever they say is you just laugh and say no seriously what 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 would you really could take for this thing you know whatever it okay. is laugh it off like it's they're telling a joke or whatever you okay. know you know, you don't have to insult them, but you, it's that knee jerk reaction. No, really. Well, come on. And but the reason why, yeah. And the reason why I say that, and the reason why I think that might work is because when she, when we purchased the property, the back house was still occupied by her daughter-in-law. Um, and it was nasty. And so she went in when the daughter-in-law finally got all of her stuff out, she went in and she called us up. She's like, I'm so sorry for the mess. I'm so sorry. You guys might just want to burn it down and start over. That was her comment. So I'm like, right. well, maybe we can use that to our advantage. You, you like, remind her of that later on. Yeah. You know? But if you go in with that and you lead with that, it looks like you're begging, you're groveling and you're trying to okay. you know, please take a discount. You know, here's all the reasons you just yeah. are, you're out there. It's like, Hey, I, you know, I, I got some lottery money. It's not enough to pay you off, but if you want it, Right Give me the time. least you can do, and we'll see if we can work something out. Have to pay. Okay, good. I'm just jotting down some of these, you know, little words that you're using there. That's, that's, that's gold right there. Yeah. Just like the advice that the Blair just gave Barry, you just, you, you know, you lead with your ears, not with your mouth. You, mm -hmm. God gave us two ears and one mouth, and we should use them in proportion. Mm -hmm. So you, you say a few things, and then you ask a big open question. If you can get them to start saying yes right up front, and that's why I said, you know, would you like an offer? They say, got yeah. it. Okay. Ask them for ask that what? first. Then you just turn right around and just what Blair said. Okay, great. Well, what's the least you could take? Tell me what the least you could take, and then I'll give you an offer.